Hi there, we're looking at sequences from core one and particularly a term to term relationship or recurrence relationship. So I'm going to first of all set up a sequence and I'm going to tell you that the first term is k and then the second term is 2k plus 3 and the third term is 3k plus 6 and the fourth k is 4k plus 9. Now you may be able to spot what I'm adding on. Um, and indeed, I'm adding on k plus 3 each time. So to write that as a recurrence relationship, you could say that the next term, so a to, and then a subscript um, n plus 1, is equal to the previous term, with k plus 3 added on. So that would be a recurrence relationship. Now, the type of question you might be faced with might not give you as much information. Um, so we'll leave that there for the moment. But based on just this information here, the first term and the third term, you can still find out some key information. So for example, we still know that the first term is k. To find the difference, if we do the third term minus the first term, that should give us two lots of the difference. So that gives us 2k plus 6. So the difference should be half of that, which is k plus 3. So there's a way of finding the difference for a relationship like this. If you have the third term and the first term, you can take one away from the other and then halve that because it represents two lots of the difference. And now that we've got the first term and the difference, we can start to find things out, such as um, if I wanted you to find out A7, so the seventh term, um, I could put it into my formulae, which is the A plus N minus 1 D. So that would be K plus 7 minus 1 times the difference, which is k plus 3. And to find the seventh term, we just multiply that out. We get this. Uh, 7k plus 18 is the seventh term. You could also be asked to find the sum. So this sigma indicates a sum from the first term to the fifth term of the, uh, the sequence that we've been looking at here. So again, you might just be given this information over here, the first term and the third term, but still be asked to find this. Now for this one, we need to use our formula for the sum, which is this 2a plus n minus 1 lots of the difference. So if we plug our relevant numbers in, we're dealing with five terms, so n will be 5. The first term was k, and the difference is k plus 3, which we found out moments ago by taking the third term away from the first term, sorry, the first term away from the third term, and halving that. So if we complete our working out, we get 2k and then times 4 by the k plus 3 in the brackets and it gives me 5 over 2 times 6k plus 12. So if we halve everything inside and then times it by 5 We find out that the sum of the first five terms of this sequence is 15k plus 30. A more abstract application of the two formulae and also involving a recurrence relationship. And just to remind you, the recurrence relationship is written here. So to get to the next term, you take the previous term and add on k plus 3.
you've also been able to apply the normal uh, arithmetic sequence where we've got a first term, a difference, and we can apply the two formulae just as we have done in previous questions. I hope that proved useful. Best of luck.